Sean Mize here, uh, how to create profit with information products online. And uh, that's that's the entire topic of of what we're going to work on today is is how to is the big picture of creating profit. And then as this phone call goes on, I'm going to talk about the specifics of turning the things that you're doing in into actually making money. And let me just go into some background on on why I've chosen to do this call today. Um, obviously in your lessons you're getting a lot of information on how to how to drive traffic you're getting a lot of information on how to build a list and you're getting information on how to create a product but I know that many of you are struggling to pull it all together and, and for those of you who perhaps aren't in one of my coaching programs you're getting information from somebody else and you're you've got all of this information coming in and you you've learned how to do so many different things you know whether you know that's you're at the beginner stage and you've got a website that squeeze page up or you know you've got a line of 25 different products or somewhere in between you're getting all of this information you're doing all of this work i know some of you are working 20 30 40 hours a week you're doing everything that you're being told to do okay whether it's by somebody else or whether it's by me and and yet you're having a hard time pulling it all together so when you look into your merchant account the the money is physically coming in. And so what today is going to do is bridge the gap on on pulling all of those things together. Now the way that I've the, the way that I'm going going to present this is going to be complete. So if for example you're at the very beginning and you've never tried anything, okay, then you'll also be able to see what the big picture is. This will be a recording that you will be able to refer back to when you're getting stuck with something uh, in the future. This is just going to literally go from A to Z, the big picture. Okay, Obviously, I mean, I, I could probably lecture 50 hours on each of the individual things. So in one hour, we're, we're going to cover the big picture. The focus is going to be squeezing profit out of everything that you're doing. Now, what I'm going to do is go to the very end of our process. Okay, Our process, of course, is going to be getting into a niche, finding a niche that's going to work for us. It's going to involve driving traffic to our website. Then it's going to involve building a list, a list of subscribers who will buy from us in the future. And then the final step is going to be to sell products to that list. I'm going to start by talking about a little bit of the psychology of actually making the money. Okay. There is only one way that you can make money online. There's only one core way, and that is if somebody sells something. Okay, There's no money floating around out there for, for grabs. There's no free money floating around on the web for, for grabs. The only way that money is generated is when one person sells something to another person. Okay, Now, you may not be involved in that very final stage. You may still generate an income. However, there's no money to you unless somebody on the far end makes a sale. So I'll give you a few examples. Number one way that you can uh, that, that this works is when you physically sell a product yourself to someone else. Okay, so you have a product that, uh, let's say, it sells for $500, and you sell it to someone else. They give you $500. Okay, so now you've made $500. Okay, or someone else sells a product, and you send traffic to that person. Okay, and in exchange, they offer to give you, let's say, 50% of all the money that comes in. Okay, so they sell something for $500, you get 50%, you get $250. Someone sold something. Nothing magical happened. Someone sold something. Okay, now, perhaps, in, instead of being paid as an affiliate with a percentage of the product, instead you're paid for the traffic. Okay, so for example, maybe someone is paying you a dollar per lead to generate traffic or a dollar per visit to generate traffic. Okay, they're only going to do that as long as a certain number of those visits turn into sales. If a certain number of those do not turn into sales, they will no longer be able to pay you. So even if you're getting paid for something piecemeal, such as driving traffic, you are only going to get paid as long as something sells. Okay? And we can even look at it from the perspective of pay-per-click. Okay? Some people will make money from something like pay-per-click or from hosting advertising on your website. Okay? So advertisers pay to be on your website. Okay? Or with the case of pay-per-click, a company pays to, to, to get traffic from your particular website. 
However, think about it. Each one of the companies that is paying for that advertising so that you can get that income from that advertising, they're all paying that because they are generating revenue. So in every single circumstance where revenue comes to you, okay, something has to be sold. So in, in all cases, the only way to create income, the only way to create profit online is for something to be sold. Now, obviously, you can decide to be uh, take another place in that, that procedure, and instead of actually selling the product, you can become a broker of some kind. But keep in mind, if a sale doesn't happen, then you're not paid. Okay, now, the way that I teach marketing, the way that I make my own money online, and what is normally uh, normally meant when we talk about information products online, we're talking about individuals who create, and those individuals can be you, okay? so, so individuals just like you and like me, who create information products to sell online. Okay, so we're focusing on the primary way that we're going to focus on this phone call and really, if you any of my training that you do, you really will find in the long run that, that it all revolves around creating your own products and selling them. Okay, so we've looked at this spectrum. There's lots of different ways that you can get involved in making money online. The bottom line, the thing that is common to all of them is that in all cases, something has to be sold. Money has to change hands. The portion of that market that I work in okay, is in information products. I sell information and people pay me for that information, and I teach you how to create products that are information-based and sell those products online. Okay? I don't teach how to do all of the other things that can possibly be a stepping stone. So I don't teach you how to sell advertising. I don't teach you how to sell other people's products. I don't teach you any of the other ways or steps in this this one primary end result, which is which is selling this information product, I don't teach any of those other steps. I have one system that I use, and that is selling the information product. Okay, so if we look at your own business, what does that look like? What that means is that whatever niche that you choose, and we will talk about niche selection here in a few minutes, but whatever niche that that you choose uh, to work in, if you're going to create an information product, what you are going to do is teach other people something that they need to know. Okay, now, that can be teach them how to do something, okay, or it can be teach them about something. So let's just say, just t- pull something out of the hat, and let's say that you are perhaps involved in a fitness, the fitness arena online. Okay, Then what you would do, you, you can do one of several different things. They're really all going to be teaching someone how to do something. You can teach people how to get fit. You can teach people how, perhaps, to lose weight. You can teach people uh, about losing weight and getting fit. It, let's say, for example, that instead of being in the fitness niche, then you are perhaps in the stock market niche. Okay, So in the stock market niche, you would be teaching someone else how to do something. You would be teaching them how to trade stocks, or you would be teaching people how to make money trading stocks, or you would be teaching someone how to start a stock trading business. Okay, uh, let's come up with another niche. Let's imagine this is a popular niche to talk about, okay, and that's dog training. Okay, let's imagine you're in the dog training niche. Then what you would be doing is teaching other people how to train dogs, for example. Let's say you're in the psychology niche. You would be teaching people either one of two things, how to, how to help others in the psychology arena, okay, or how to perhaps improve themselves through the use of psychology, for example. So in every single case, the way that you are going to generate revenue is by selling a product that teaches other people how to do what you know how to do. You are going to be teaching them how to do it. The product, although we're going to talk about how that product will look, the the product that you're actually going to ship out will look, But the bottom line is what people are going to pay you for. They're not paying you for an ebook. They're not paying you for a CD. They're not paying you for a video. They're not even paying you for coaching. They are paying you for the result that they get when they learn how to do it. So if someone purchases, let's say that you have a dog training video series that teaches you how to train dogs. 
okay, and you might have paid $500 for that series. You haven't paid that $500 for the physical series of DVDs, okay, although that's how you'll get your information. What you are paying is for all of the things that you are going to learn as you go through those particular videos, and that's the case in every single niche. When you buy something that is an information product, you're buying the information, and those that information should turn into results. You are buying the information and the results, not the physical product itself. By the same token, when you sell something, you are selling the information and the results. Okay, You are not selling format. Now, based on the format that you present something, you can put different prices on it. So, for example, uh, and, and it, it, we'll, uh, we'll go through a typical product funnel. They have an ebook that might sell for $100. Okay? Then what we may do is create an MP3 series that might sell for $300. Then we might create a CD or a video series that sells for $800. And then we might have live coaching that sells for, say, five or $10,000. Now, the only difference with each one of these products is the medium that you are able to take that and, and how much involvement that you are able to feel when you are studying it. So, for example, if there's an ebook, then you can certainly learn all of the information, but there's, there's no tonality to it. Okay, there's no intuition usually that can be gained from that ebook. However, if you listen to an MP3 series that covers the same information, a lot of times you get a deeper level of understanding just by the inflection of the tone of voice that someone uses because you can tell what's important and what's not. Whereas with an ebook, it's much more difficult to do that. Okay? And then the same thing goes with a CD or a DVD series. That's something that someone can literally load up on their TV at home, or they can put into their car and listen to on the way to work. So it, that creates a higher perceived value for the individual that's purchasing that particular product because now they're able to use it in more places than just on their, their computer and listen to it on their computer. If you go into coaching, then what people are uh, – the reason that you can continue to charge more is that now instead of just giving information like you do with an e-book, e uh, giving more information at a deeper level with an MP3, giving people information that they can kind of take to work with them and take around and show other people with videos and CDs and, and, and uh, DVDs and that type of thing. Now with coaching, there's the element of being able to be personally involved. So you're able to ask questions. You're able to uh, get feedback if you're struggling with something. So if we go back to this dog training, you know, if someone started out with an ebook that would give them the 10 steps to dog training, it would probably be difficult to transfer the ebook information to physically training your own dog. You'd get all the information, but it'd probably be difficult to translate it. Now, with an MP3 series, you'd get more of that information. You'd get some deeper inflection there, and you, you, you might be able to take that information and actually put it to good work. Now, if we take this to the next step, if someone's got CDs, they can listen to a CD on their way to work and back, and then they can apply that information with their dog when they get home from work. Okay, then that gives them a deeper level of understanding. And then let's say you had a dog training coaching program. What that coaching program would do would give you the ability to get on the phone, let's just say once a month. It could be once a week. It could be every day, depending on how much money you're paying. Okay, and you could, you could talk to a professional dog trainer. Okay, or if you're in the, if you're the person that's giving that information out, then you could talk to that client. And then you as the client, let's look at it from you as the client, can say, you know, Mr. Dog Trainer, Mrs. Dog Trainer, I've studied everything on CD3, and we're working on making my dog do this particular trick, and he won't do it. And the dog trainer can say, well, what about this? Try this. Tell me what happens when that happens. Okay, try Tell me what happens. And then he can say, okay, I know exactly what's wrong with your dog. Your dog is not responding to X, Y, Z, and now you can help them fix it. Obviously, this can be translated into every, every single niche out there. So if someone is trading stocks, there's an ebook that gives them some background. There's MP3s that can give them more information. There's CDs they can carry with them physically. Then there's coaching that, you know, somebody can make trades every single day perhaps and get on the phone with you and say, hey, I just made this trade and I think I, I messed things up and how do I fix it? Okay, there's this, this interaction. So what happens is as you move through these ebooks to MP3s to CDs to, to coaching, Okay, as you move through there, you're giving people more and more value, and they're paying more and more 
for the additional value that you're giving them. Now, the information may not be much different in each one of these these elements, but people are able to get more information out of it. People are able to get more value out of it. People, especially when you move into coaching, people are able to get uh, more results out of that. Okay, so the way that you are going to make money online, if you're working with information product, that's what I teach. That's basically all that I teach. I teach everything that makes that happen. So I teach traffic and list building. And, but all of that stuff doesn't make you money. Traffic doesn't make you money. The list doesn't make you money. What actually makes you money, what actually puts money in your merchant account, in your bank account, in your PayPal account, is when you physically sell something, whether you sell that ebook or you sell that MP3. You sell those CDs, you sell the coaching. There's other things that you can sell. You can sell uh, classes, you can sell memberships, various types of memberships. You can sell lots of different types of coaching. There's lots of, you could sell a physical book. So there's lots of different things that you're able to sell. But the money actually happens when these products become sold. You sell them, you deliver them, whether they're physical or they're digital. You deliver them and then you get the money in return. That's right there. This is what makes the money come in. Okay. So, so many people have, do not have a product and are working on a product, but are still concerned that they're not making money. Well, the reason that you are they are not making money is because you don't have a physical product to sell. You're not selling a product. Okay. Now, you may also, you may have one product and you have a very small amount of traffic, and you have a very small list, and so only a few people take a look at your sales page for that product every day, well, no matter how good or bad that product is, probably you're not going to sell very many products, and you're not going to make a lot of money. Okay? If you only have one product, and you have very little traffic and very little subscribers, then you can say, okay, well, I've got the product, but I don't have the traffic and I don't have the list. Those are the things that I need to work on next. Okay? Or perhaps you might have the traffic and you might have a list and they're buying that first product, but once they bought one product, they just kind of disappear because there's nothing else for them to buy. And so that's when you begin to work on your second product and your third product and your fourth product. And, you know, very often, if you can come up with a product series, and don't get me wrong, this is not going to happen overnight, but over time, if you get to where you've got 20 products, you will find that some individuals on your list will literally buy every single one of your products. Okay, and so think about that person were to come in your, to your list where you're at now with one product, and they are forced to only buy one product, they cannot buy anything else from you, then your revenue per subscriber, your revenue per the traffic that comes in, is going to be lower than if you had more products in that, in that line. Okay? So the more products that you're able to, to deliver, the more you're able to take an individual okay, who buys from you and maximize the amount of revenue that they are able to put in. What 